Okie dokie, everybody. Welcome back. You're here at the Fox Den with Pater Boss, the Papa Fox, and we're going to continue playing Pillars of Eternity by Obsidian Entertainment. When we last left off, we had started to explore the sanitarium in Brackenbury of Defiance Bay. Uh, we had uh, contacted Mordred, which the uh, necromancer has asked us to do. We're not going to totally, you know, bum rush this guy. We're actually going to go back to the necromancer, fight him. We're going to tell him that we're uh, displeased with it, what he was doing. Um, but yeah, so again, if, if I sound a little bit off my game, it's because I still have this uh, gosh darn cold. Uh, so there we go. I have a cough drop, so hopefully that should help things quite a bit. So let's be about it. Belisig, something else you need. Uh, what do you do here? According to my research grant, I study awakenings. Sublimating pre-awakened souls has been one of Andamancy's greatest successes, and I am working on a method to replicate the process on awakened souls. She gnaws at her lip. But truth is that I find suit a few suitable subjects here. Wyatt legacy has left plenty of awakened souls, but most are too broken for study. I fear I will return to Revoa with nothing to show for my efforts. Um, I'm awakened. I've been recalling flashes of a past life. She scratches at her chin. Most interesting, but not the kind of awakening I can study, I'm afraid. I need someone whose awakened soul can be triggered with predictable stimuli. Souls such as these tend to manifest as alternate personas in the host. She gives you a broad, if strange smile. But I thank you for the offer. I'd like to know more about Animancy in the Valiant Republics. It's dynam it's a, a, it is dy a, a dynamic and respected field. Even the Bale Reach incident did little to slow it. She shrugs. People in the Republics are more accepting of risk, less superstitious, ready to try anything that shows promise. Mm, I don't think people should turn to the gods for answers. It's a shame that uh, some... Uh... But Animancy also has the potential to do great harm. I'm not sure whether the benefits outweigh the dangers. This is true of any great technology. You cut a man open to remove sick flesh, and there is still a chance you kill him. Build a boat to explore a new land, and perhaps it sinks with you aboard. But surely these things make us better off, even though they sometimes fail. I actually agree with this statement. Um, but with anything, whether you're conducting surgery, building a boat, um, you still have to have people who oversee it. This is why we. This is why any science has uh, any field of science has ethics community uh, committees. Uh, philosophy is actually incredibly important when we're trying to judge whether or not to do something or whether or not something's going to cause more harm than good or how we should go about doing it. So, here we go. Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's in here. Ah, dented and scored with claw marks. Let's talk with the sanitarium guard. Sometimes we get people in here trying to make trouble for the Animancers. Now, uh, we'll require the proper key. So, let's go ahead and uh, explore the rest of Brackenbury. I believe we have one more location, and that's uh, going to be uh, Hadrat House. So, how are you all doing today? I'm doing absolutely wonderfully. Uh, again, aside from this uh, bit of a cold, but... Oh... My wife made me pulled pork today, and it was so good. It was the most amazing thing. Um, we had a little bit of, we got, we got the buns toasted, we got a little bit of uh, red onion and some pickles in there, and oof, it was very tasty. So hopefully that has also helped my uh, my well-being and everything. Um, yeah, she, she just got uh, done working on a very intense schedule, so it's, it's nice to have a few... Uh, uh, Who's a good boy? Uh, Who needs his belly scratched? Okay. Uh, yeah, it does wonders for uh, for me to have uh, really awesome. I, I I can cook, but my wife it is much better at it than I am. She has had a lot more practice at it. That's something I'm trying to pick up as time goes on. It wasn't exactly something that I was. Uh, uh, how should we say, instructed in when I was a kid? Ooh. -oh. The marble at the base has been worn smooth by the passage of hundreds of feet. Mm hmm. 
Dunnard agents. Curran, I think. Yes, I'm certain of it. Let's talk to this person. Gods keep you. The Arlen man is surrounded by books and scrolls. His wiry hair stands nearly on end, and his ears prick up as you approach. You carry whispers, Kate. Uh, you carry whispers. Kate Nua, Gilded Veil, vale. old voices indeed. How did you know? The Orlin grins, revealing a row of dagger-pointed teeth. As a cipher, it's my job to know these things. You carry the whiff of ancients. What else can you tell me? His ears twitch downward. Not as much as I would like, unfortunately. My duties for Lady Webb require me to focus my talents elsewhere. He regards a table piled with scrolls. What brings you, what brings you to Dunnard Row? Uh, tell me more about your skills. I check for soul connections, looking for lost things, missing things, or troublesome things, particularly where people of power and influence are concerned. I am a cipher. In Air Glanfath, we were once known as uh, Brishalguin, Mind Hunters. Nice title, yes, but it wasn't until the Animancers began working with my kind 40 years ago that we truly understood our power. Now, we make some of the best detectives in the world. Tracing souls, we can look at a person and see where they have been. Or look at a weapon and see who has touched it. His nose twitches as he looks at you. Useful for solving crimes, as you can imagine. Uh, it looks as though you could use some help. Curran wags a clawed finger. Not at liberty to discuss my work, unfortunately. Dunnard row ears only. A civilian would need uh, the confidence of Lady Webb before I could share. What are you so busy with? His small, furry hands gesture expansively at the papers before him. Hollowborn, growing unrest, and the ever-present political intrigues with so many missing souls. Missing persons are the least of our concern these days. Oh, very well. Okay. Anybody in here? No. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and uh, check over here. To make sure I talk to everybody who can be talked to. Ah, a group of notes, speculate my location, uh, secret sect, and defines me. Ooh. Okay, more Dunnard agents. Uh, looks like we're going to have to go upstairs. I know I haven't said it in a while, but this game is absolutely gorgeous. The soundtrack is wonderful, but they did such a good job with the artwork on this game. Uh, yeah, I, I just am blown away. Like I could just get lost staring at the intricacies of this entire entire thing. Okay, what we got here? More stuff in there. The, nothing much here. Scribbled in a cryptic shorthand. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can't uh, talk. Web wants to see you if so. Okay, well, uh, well, looks like we can't go see Lady Web yet. Let's be about it then. Doop, 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 doop. Ah. Well, I hope you're. Uh, I think by the time this episode will go up, uh, this will be just before Christmas. So I hope your uh, holidays will be going well, uh, whatever uh, religion you happen to follow, or not at all. I mean, some people like to celebrate candlelights or Christmas. Your brother. Did you and he get along? We got along how brothers do. He used to throw water on me to wake me up in the morning. I used to fill his boots with stinging ants. My own brothers and sisters are doing very well for themselves back in Tacoma. I don't know that they'd search for me if I were killed so far from home. Brothers can be funny. I bet you'd be surprised how far they'd go. That is true. It's funny how families interact sometimes. I forgot what I was going to say. That was a, that was a nice little uh, interaction there. I, I really appreciate how how they uh, uh, get that uh, going between characters. It's uh, they're quite interesting uh, conversations that they get involved in. Okay, clicking an item in the container while holding Shift key will move it directly into your stash. That's useful to know. Adjust the car. Fear some rumors persist of strange hooded figures emerging from the city catacombs. The city guard advises caution. Uh, crier? Let's talk with the crier. No? Okay, cool. Ah, looks like we can, uh, 
take some of the stuff. Who would put beer in a thing? Well, I mean, people put beer in stuff all the time, but I mean, specifically, who would put beer in a trash bin? Unless if it was bad beer, but okay, never mind. I digress. Uh, we are in um, Andra's Gift, and this is the port portion of Defiance Bay. So, wonderful. What do we got going on here? We got a bunch of addicts. Nothing much to see. The rangers are bonded to their animal companions and work best as a team. Woohoo! So I had this idea for Dungeons and Dragons, where instead of uh, when you, if you're a ranger, instead of having one animal companion that just continually go grows level with you, uh, grows in strength with you, uh, you have every time you gain a level, you add another uh, uh, animal companion, like a very low level one. So for me, that would be cats. So by the time you're level 15, you have 15 cats following you around. Um, it's like a like a like a swarm of cats, a cat king. Um, that, that might be kind of fun to have happen. <laughs> there we go. Well, let's go see what's in here. Oh, money. Let's go take this. And let's see what's on here. The knob on the underside suggests the table was fashioned from a derelict door. The slightest pressure causes it to wobble atop the barrels. Uh, Col uh, Colfec. Let's go talk to him. A youngish elven man squints at you in surprise. You can't just barge into somebody's home like this. What? Who do you think you are? Well, who are you? The elf who lives here. Now get out. What now? He looks at you nervously. Well, we're going to leave. I took all your stuff, but it wasn't labeled as stealing. So well, there we go. Ah, da 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 da. Mm, let's see what else we have. Oh, uh, by the way, this is a fairly big portion of the map. I, I should have shown you this before. So we're going to come down here, go uh, over here, and then around there. And we'll, we'll just take a, a nice little tour of the whole place. Mm -hmm. uh, they're... they're uh... Did you tell me yeah, you quit? Uh-oh. That could cause problems. Okay, what do we got going on here? There's another house we can go into. Oh, apartment complex. It's not technically a house. Mm-hmm. There's something here we can take. Uh, camping supplies. We already have the maximum available for that. Let's go ahead and see what we can take here. Some money. We got in here. Uh, ooh, hammer and chisel. The rope coiled around the chair feels painfully scratchy. The water in the pail is murky with blood. Ooh, this is not good. That's a uh, <laughs> abandoned house. Let's get out of here. There's probably a reason why it's abandoned, and probably a reason why there's a bucket full of blood and a chair with a bunch of rope around it. Uh, draw what conclusions you want. Oh boy. Uh, sailor! There we go. Now oh, that's a name and a half. Uh, we are not going to attempt to pronounce that because it's not a character necessary to know. Okay, what do we have going on here? Ah, barrel we can take. Uh, grappling hook. A rope and grappling hook. Even better, because a grappling hook by itself isn't very useful. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, nothing really we can take, just some uh, extra people who are uh, backers and they got their story written into the game. <laughs> what do we got going on outside? Okay. Alrighty. Ah! I could get in. They said I wasn't refined or prestigious enough for the club. Really just bastards. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah, well, okay. Uh, who's this person? God's damn that son of a cool. The angry woman clenches her jaw and stares out toward the harbor with glimmering golden eyes. Eventually sensing your presence, uh, presence she turns her feathered head towards you. Want to run a down-on-its-luck valiant trading company? 
If you have more than half a brain, you could really do something with it. She clenches her jaw and continues quietly. As long as you're willing to clean up a few bloodstains. Uh, what's going on exactly? Exactly? If I knew that, I'd be in a better mood. The only thing I know exactly is that Mestre Verzano is determined to wind up in a grave before the season turns. The woman looks back at the warehouse for a moment and grimaces. After a slight nod in your direction, she storms off. Huh. Okay, well, there we go. Looks like that's the one we're going to have to keep our uh, keep an eye on. A Valiant Trading Company. Let's go inside. Why not? <laughs> NPCs of golden name plates are designed by backers. Okay, Elena. God keep you. A young woman stands behind the counter, watching with quick, intelligent eyes. Welcome. This is your first visit to the Valiant Training Company, is it not? Please, let me know how I can assist you. Her tone is both professional and inquisitive. What is this place? The Valiant Trading Company is an association of merchants from the Valiant Republics. We oversee trade deals and negotiations on behalf of our merchants. She gestures towards the door on her right. This is our warehouse, where we store goods in transit. You have more to discuss? Who are you? I'm the assistant manager of this warehouse, currently. I help Veronzo run things, but I'll take over when he retires. Or when the company bosses come back, uh, back home, decide it's time for new management. She rolls her eyes. Oh, farewell. What do we have going on? Uh, while your ambitions would dignify any son of the republics, your methods do not. The dukes have asked that once you see to the business interests of all the republics, they are not given to asking twice. Ooh. Now this should be manifest, listing the cargo of the Principa uh, uh, Siamena. 400 shark skins from Rautai, 20... Bales of Blackwood from the Living Lands, and six dozen uh, barrels of Adir and Ale. Okay, Maestro, uh, Maester Veranzo. Let's talk to him. A man stands at the corner of the warehouse, directing traffic. Gems wink from the many rings on his fingers, and he points and waves at the laborers. His silk clothes, so finely embroidered, aren't new. You notice a couple of mended seams around, his sho around the shoulders and a, a discreet patch on one elbow. Good day to you. When he sees you, he throws his arms wide in an expansive welcome. Greetings! You have come to the warehouse and headquarters of the Valiant Trading Company. He consults a pocket watch. Some of the gold filigree has chipped away. But you are late. I so went word to the expedition hall yesterday. This delivery cannot wait. He snaps the watch shut. Who was that feathered woman? Now we're not going to talk about the delivery. Ah, you must be Pangelina. She's a paladin in the employ of the Valiant Embassy. <laughs> She's a good shoulder, er, a soldier, uh, and good shoulders, I would imagine, but not so good at taking orders. Too hot to uh, temper, I'm afraid. Well, she seemed angry. <laughs> That's no surprise. She's a hot-headed, a woman in, uh, in a brotherhood of paladins, and touched by the gods in such an unusual way. Something else I can help you with, or shall I return to my business? What's the delivery? He tugs at his beard. I must assume, then, that you are not from the company I contacted at the Expedition Hall. He waves a hand. But you are here, and they are not. It is a bag of bitter squash seeds, which are prized for their medicinal properties. Few merchants and defines bay deal in them, but those who do know their value. It seems simple enough. Why ask me? A frown distorts his meticulous goatee. My own couriers have been robbed and beaten these past weeks. It would seem that some of my competitors resent my success. In any case, you are not known. You are not a known associate. You would be left alone. And if not, he shrugs and grins. You look like you could handle it yourself. And as for your integrity, I suppose I will just have to trust you, as you will have to trust my assurances that you won't find a buyer outside of my contact. I'll do it. He claps his hands together. Excellent. Now, deliver this package to a man named Gareth at the Goose and Fox in Copper Lane. He will know what to do with it. He slips uh, he slips a bag of pebbly seeds into your hand. Return to me when you are done, and I shall see to your payment. Well met, friend. Veranzo checks his battered pocket watch. 
to deliver that package, no? Business such as this is best concluded quickly. Tell me about what you do here. I am a merchant from uh, An Ansinze. Uh, An Ankenzi? An Ansenzi. I think that's what we'll call it. The fairest of the Valian Republics. Here in Defiance Bay, I run the Valian Trading Company. He gestures at the stacked crates. We ship cargo to and from the Valley, uh, from the republics. We are part of a grandest, uh, the grandest mercantile organization in the world. Anything you can imagine, we can ship it. He grins for a fee. I'd like to know more about the company. We are a confederation of merchants and traders from the republics. He looks proudly around the warehouse. We sell all manner of goods and equipment, and for years we've enjoyed fruitful contracts with many shops, inns, and armorers throughout Defiance Bay. The smile flickers. Something wrong? It's nothing, he waves a hand. Only that competition has grown especially fierce in recent months. But I suppose this is to be expected given the legacy, as the locals call it. Very well. Okay. Warehouse hand. Okay. Caution. Flammable. Cool beans. Let's see what's uh, back here. Live specimens. Do not open. Let's go ahead and see what's uh, down in here. Oh, it's a loading screen, loading screen, loading screen. Cartugo. I'll speak to you in just a moment. Oh, a torch. How do you do? Come, take a look at my wares. Exotic goods shipped straight from the republics of old and old Valia. Show me what you have. Okay. Let's see. Rot finger gloves. Okay. Wonder, Constitution 1, Might 1, Resolve 1, Belt of Sp Stelgar, of the Stelgar, Prone Reduction, of Dexterity 2, a Joke Tea, <laughs> ah, Dragon Meat, ooh, oh, that's expensive, and a Dragon Egg, wow. Holy moly. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, we're actually going to call that an end of the episode. If you've enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like button or give me some feedback if you prefer. Of course, if you enjoy my other work, then a subscription to the channel would also be most appreciated. As always, it's great to see you all here at the Fox Den. I hope you come back next time and pull up a chair for some more Pillars of Eternity. Alrighty, you take care now. Bye.